Okay, now that we have our certificate and we've uh, created it and installed it, we need to also add the RPC over HTTP feature. So what we're going to do is we'll go back to our server manager. Oh, there it is. And I'll click on server manager here up at the top. And it looks like this when you're here. Server summary, I've got this selected right here. You'll scroll down to features. And you can see I've added the RPC over HTTP proxy feature. And you'll just click Add Features, scroll down, look for it, RPC over HTTP proxy, select it, click Next, click Install, and you're done. So that's pretty easy. Um, makes it very easy to uh, install that feature. So that's the RPC over HTTP feature. Then, once you've done that, um, of course, you're going to have to make sure that your firewall has the correct ports open. I'll talk about that in a minute. Hopefully, your um, Windows Server firewall will automatically open up these ports once you've enabled these features, right? should happen automatically. But you're not going to need to worry about that because you're just going to test it with the Remote Connectivity Tester tool, which I'm going to talk about right now. So now that you have that done, we're going to go back to our Exchange Management Console right here and go down to our toolbox and if you click on this link right here remote connectivity analyzer it'll open up a web browser and in that web browser is this very cool online tool that can test your um, exchange connectivity and it's called www.testexchangeconnectivity.com and you can select outlook anywhere over rpc over http you can select next right and what it'll do is it'll ask you for an email address so you'll give it a sample email address on your domain you'll give it your domain name and your username your password and what it'll do is it'll try to connect to your exchange mail server over the internet and it will test to see that auto discover is working it'll test to see that um, uh, it'll test your DNS settings it will test to see that your SSL certificate is correctly installed it'll test to make sure RPC over HTTP is working all of these things all you have to do is just uh, collect I understand put in the verification code and click perform test so very useful tool to see what it is that might be blocked and why you can't connect so it's gonna take a while but um, this will help you troubleshoot your uh, what ports need to be opened up, whether your SSL certificate's resolving correctly, DNS, those things. Okay, and speaking of which, your remote connectivity tester tool, um, I've opened up, I've gone back to my server manager, I've opened up DNS, I've opened up my forward lookup zones, and here's dansgames.com. You're also going to need to have an auto discover A record set up in your DNS uh, forward lookup zone for your domain name. So along with your MX record, I have an MX record, uh, a um, mail record, but you're going to need a um, auto discover uh, record, a record in your DNS. All right. Okay. And since um, Outlook Anywhere is connecting um, via your um, HTTP RPC over HTTP all your firewalls essentially going to need is uh, port 80 open for you to be able to connect so it should be no problem you should not need any special ports open for this to work and if if it isn't you your remote connectivity tester tool will tell you what the problem is and what services can't connect so um, you're just going to need your regular mail ports open, let's say, on your firewall, but um, nothing special for the uh, Outlook Anywhere feature. Okay, I hope that helps, and I hope that covers the entire um, aspect of using um, Outlook Anywhere and getting it to work on your Exchange 2010 server.